Apple unveiled a range of new accessibility tools for the iPhone and iPad, introducing a feature that can replicate a user's voice for phone calls with just a 15-minute training session. The upcoming tool, named Personal Voice, allows users to read text prompts and record audio to enable the technology to learn their voice. Another related feature called Live Speech utilizes the synthesized voice to audibly read out the user's typed text in real time, whether it's during phone calls, FaceTime conversations, or in-person interactions. Additionally, users will have the ability to save frequently used phrases for convenient use in live conversations. Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. So, let's start. As part of its efforts to promote inclusivity for individuals with cognitive vision, hearing, and mobility disabilities, Apple has introduced several features aimed at enhancing the accessibility of its devices. One such feature focuses on replicating a user's voice for phone calls after a brief 15-minute training session. Apple specifically highlighted the potential benefits for individuals facing conditions like ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, that lead to a gradual loss of voice over time. Sarah Herlinger, Apple's Senior Director of Global Accessibility Policy and Initiatives, emphasized the company's commitment to accessibility, stating in a blog post, accessibility is part of everything we do at Apple. She further explained that the groundbreaking features were developed in close collaboration with members of disability communities, ensuring that their feedback guided every step of the process. The intention behind these features is to support a diverse range of users and facilitate new ways for people to connect with one another. According to the company's explanation, users have the ability to generate a personal voice by engaging in a 15-minute audio recording session while reading a series of text prompts on their iPhone or iPad. The speech accessibility feature ensures the privacy and security of users' information through on-device machine learning. Additionally, it seamlessly integrates with live speech, allowing users to communicate with their personal voice during interactions with their loved ones. Apple has confirmed that the mentioned features will be made available to users later this year. Although these tools address a legitimate need, their release coincides with concerns surrounding the misuse of advanced artificial intelligence techniques, such as defakes, which involve creating realistic fake audio and video content. This has raised alarm about the potential for bad actors to deceive or spread misinformation among the public. According to Apple, the personal voice feature utilizes on-device machine learning to ensure the privacy and security of users' information. Other technology companies have also explored the use of artificial intelligence for replicating voices. Amazon, for instance, announced last year that it is developing an update for its Alexa system, enabling it to mimic any voice, including that of a deceased family member. However, this feature has not yet been released. Alongside the voice-related features, Apple unveiled assistive access, which integrates popular iOS apps like FaceTime, Messages, Camera, Photos, Music, and Phone into a single Calls app. The interface incorporates high contrast buttons, large text labels, an emoji-only keyboard option, and the capability to record video messages, catering to individuals who prefer visual or audio communication. Moreover, Apple is updating its Magnifier app, designed for individuals with visual impairments. The forthcoming update will introduce a detection mode to facilitate better interaction with physical objects. For example, users can point their iPhone camera at a microwave, and, as they move their finger across the keypad, the app will label and announce the text displayed on the microwave's buttons. Apple has introduced several additional features across its devices to cater to various disabilities. Deaf or hard-of-hearing individuals now have the ability to directly connect their made-for-iPhone hearing devices to Mac allowing them to personalize the settings for optimal hearing comfort. Voice control has been enhanced with phonetic suggestions for text editing, assisting users who rely on voice typing to choose the correct word from similar sounding options. Switch control enables individuals with physical and motor disabilities to utilize any switch as a virtual game controller, enhancing their gaming experience on iPhone and iPad. Improvements have also been made to adjust text size in Mac apps, making it more user-friendly for those with low vision. Additionally, users who are sensitive to rapid animations can now have moving elements, such as GIFs, automatically paused in messages and Safari. The presence of a custom accessibility mode was identified in an iOS 16.2 beta release towards the end of last year. Apple has indicated that these features will be introduced later this year, 
which implies that they might be included in the upcoming iOS 17 release. Furthermore, a new detection mode has been introduced in the Magnifier app to assist individuals who are blind or have low vision. This mode is specifically designed to facilitate interaction with physical objects that have multiple text labels. As an illustration, if a user points their device's camera at a label, such as a microwave keypad, the iPhone or iPad will audibly read aloud each number or setting on the appliance as the user moves their finger across them. Apple emphasized that the personal voice feature leverages on-device machine learning to guarantee the privacy and security of users' data. Moreover, it seamlessly integrates with live speech, enabling users to engage in conversations using their personal voice when interacting with their loved ones. The company highlighted that the personal voice feature offers a simple and secure solution for individuals who may be at risk of losing their ability to speak. It allows them to generate a voice that closely resembles their own, ensuring a personalized and authentic communication experience. In conclusion, Apple's commitment to accessibility and the collaborative development of groundbreaking features with members of disability communities. The upcoming features aim to support diverse users and enhance connections. Apple confirmed the release of these features later this year, although concerns about the misuse of advanced artificial intelligence techniques like deepfakes have arisen. The personal voice feature utilizes on-device machine learning for privacy, integrates with live speech, and enables individuals at risk of losing their voice to generate a similar sounding voice. This is it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.